All of the chest wall abnormalities that we treat, including pectus excavatum and pectus carinatum, are done under the process of restoring normal anatomy and function to the chest wall. For pectus excavatum, the NUS procedure allows us to do that by placing substernal hardware that immediately repositions the sternum and costal cartilages where they belong. For the operation, we utilize thoracoscopy to improve safety and visualization of the dissection. The right lung typically is collapsed using uh, carbon dioxide, insufflation, and then a path, a tunnel is created beneath the sternum using specialized tools to safely do that. Uh, once that path is created, a substernal bar is created and flipped into position to restore normal anatomy to the chest wall. Dr. Nuss really devised this uh, marked improvement in the treatment of pectus excavatum because of dissatisfaction that he had with older techniques such as the open repair. And it has been a team approach that uh, since he introduced this, there have been multiple improvements that have occurred with the procedure to improve efficacy, to minimize side effects, and also to make it a much safer operation. The end product, uh, we're you know, happy to say, is something that's been adopted around the world, really, as the treatment of choice for pectus excavatum. The uh, placement of the hardware allows us to reposition the ribs and costal cartilages where they belong, but the actual remodeling process is a healing process within the patient's body. So once the hardware has been in place, typically for three years, we will take the patient back to the operating room, uh, open both surgical incisions, flatten the bars, and remove them um, from the scar capsule that they have been sealed in for the past three years. That operation is typically a day surgery uh, where the patients will come in and leave the hospital the same day. We do see a lot of patients that are referred from around the world uh, for treatment of pectus excavatum. Some of those are very uh, difficult cases. Some of those are operations uh, to address complications that have uh, occurred at other um, institutions. And uh, we probably do in excess of about 100 cases of uh, primary pectus excavatum repair a year. Um, so all of the surgeons here really do have a, a very broad experience with this operation. Uh, because we are a chest wall center, we don't just see pectus excavatum. We also see other rarer congenital abnormalities of the chest wall, as well as pectus carinatum and patients with complex chest wall deformities, which includes both elements of pectus excavatum and pectus carinatum. We also have a very broad uh, selection of treatment choices for pectus carinatum. In most cases, particularly where there is a chest wall flexibility, we will treat with orthotic bracing. Uh, we have surgical options available for either uh, patients who fail bracing, uh, for those that are too stiff to uh, treat with orthotic bracing, and also those patients that are not interested uh, or don't have adequate time to uh, utilize bracing therapy. Uh, we have utilized predominantly open repair, which allows uh, restoration of normal anatomy and function to the chest wall after costal cartilage regrowth. Uh, we also have options available uh, for um, bar placement to address appropriate patients with pectus carinatum. We've had uh, the opportunity to also treat patients who have had um, you know, inadequate healing after um, chest wall operations or have congenital anomalies where they have gaps uh, within the chest wall that require um, special custom implants uh, and other treatment options for rib replacement and uh, chest wall coverage.